How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Go Pikachu. This is episode 5. And uh, we're, just, we're just rocking out. Um, Pikachu wanted to see the fountain, so... You don't have money to... Th oh, 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 Jesus. Um, I'll throw 50 because I'm not sure if there's an actual... There's been plenty of occasions in Pokemon games where you throw... Where you put money into something then you get nothing back for it. What does it do? Syrup looks happy. Does it raise his happiness? I don't, I don't know. That's strange. Anyways, uh, Pikachu wanted to check that out last episode, so I figured we'd check it out now. Yeah, this is episode 5. Good god. Okay. Um, I think we should be able to take on... Oh god, okay. I have an alarm going off. I apologize. Uh, that was for when I was taking a nap earlier, because I'm very tired. Alright, sorry about that guys. So, uh wow, Cerulean looks amazing. I'm 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 astonished. Is this Officer Jet? What a shame. People were robbed. Someone uh, even saw the thieves and they say it was none other than Team Rocket. To protect our poor owners in the house from harm, I won't be letting anyone uh in, not even a little Vertata will sneak past me. I've I don't think Officer Jenny's ever been in a Pokemon game before. I could I could be I could very well be wrong. But I don't remember ever seeing Officer Jenny in a Pokemon game. Maybe she was in Pokemon Yellow? I don't know. Um, either way, that's so cool. Officer Jenny looked awesome. Okay. Uh, so... Oh my Jesus Christ! Why Why is there an Onyx? Okay. Uh, hello. Um, so... When I tried to turn our Pokemon with my dear Onyx. Um, utterly unnecessary. My Onyx seat is such a good boy that goes into its Pokeball in a tight space, even without being asked. All oh, right, okay. Jam Jam. So th that's that's Onyx. We actually can't see its head. Like it's just physically not possible to see its head. Cool. That's <laughs> oh, it's so big. <laughs> I really, I really want to see what Whale Lord would be like. And I know, I know, it's a generic thing to say, and everybody wants to see what Whale Lord would look like. But seriously, what would Whale Lord look like? If, if these are life size, real, real size models, what would it look like? Anyways, I want this Pokeball around here because I saw it earlier. Uh, so I'm thinking about my my my, my Pokemon and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee team, and um, I might. Oh, it's a rare candy. I figured it would be. I had a gut feeling. Uh, I, I I might I might properly make the, my team in a in a secondary playthrough. I do, but for this one, I kind of just want to go with the flow. I feel like team planning in my first playthrough. And I don't know. I just want to pick up sort of stuff and. You know, because I really want to use the Sandshrew now, and I'm just like, damn, this is completely just... The thing is, I don't think I've used the Sandshrew either. Anyways, uh, just don't take my, my team for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee uh, seriously, because I don't know if I'm going to stick to it. Uh, ER, Callum, you gotta, you're gotta, you not going to believe this. A, a, a Pokemon in it, it, uh, <laughs> a... Wait, what? Hold on, what's going on? Why is he, like, near tears? What's wrong, homie? Okay. Uh, Pidgey. So he's got three Pokemon on him. Um, I'm really glad that we've not had another battle with him till now. I was really worried we were going to be... Oh, my, he's level 12. That's so low. I was really worried we were going to be battling him, like, non-stop. Um, because uh, we, we battled him in the lab. Then we battled him on the way to the Pokemon League. And then I thought we were going to battle him at Pewter. But we didn't, luckily. So, that's good. Has he got Oddish as well? Is he copying my team? Well, not really, I guess. Because it's only one Pokemon. Oddish. Okay, um, and then I guess his last Pokemon will obviously be Eevee. I was hoping you'd have an Abra, but I guess not. Um, hopefully we can come across an Abra. Poison p Mist! Okay. Okay. Have a quick attack. Okay. Okay. I don't know, I, I just realized I was annoyed, the fact that the opposing Poison Powder Mist. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, I don't know why that bugged me. Whatever. Goodbye, Oddish. The game is lagging right now. Oh, oh, because he used a potion. All right, okay. That's new. I didn't... Has, has Rivals ever used potions? Uh, except from, like... Has Rivals even used potions in, like, final battles? That's pretty good. I mean... You know, evil, even at the playing field. Even though I am much higher level than him, he is able to live hits deal damage and he should be able to heal as well that's I, i'm down with that um but hopefully our pikachu can just one shot this ev i'm assuming it's ev uh let's keep battling oh ball 
Oh man, Eevee, you're such a such a sweet little child. I can't wait to play my own copy of Eevee as well. I really want to. Like I don't know. See, the thing about Pikachu versus Eevee, I like both of them. Um, I just think, I just think. Pikachu as a solo Pokemon is cooler than Eevee as a solo Pokemon because the whole point of Eevee is that it's meant to evolve, you know? Phew, okay, I feel a bit calmer now. What, 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 what was wrong with you anyway? Hold on. What's up, Chief? Huh, <sighs> deep breaths. Okay, let me try again. Sorry, it's not gonna, not allowing me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead, this famous Pokemon maniac is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by, because maybe I thought I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't forget when you hear this, the Pokemon Bill Fanatic wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Yep. Just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, Callum. Uh, I'm gonna do as I please, and Pikachu Joy-Con really wants me to shake. Okay, fine, I'll shake it. I feel bad if I don't if I don't visit. Syrup seems high spirits after meeting Luke and Pokemon again. Okay, so it's not sad that it's poisoned. I'd feel bad if I didn't, you know, if I didn't. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm sorry, Chief. I think I was petting its face. I don't think it liked that very much. Okay, that's, that one's fine. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop feeding you berries. You're getting fat Pikachu. Oh, actually no, fat Pikachu is what we want. Fat Pikachu is what everybody wants. Anyways, um, hopefully we can take on Misty this episode. Uh, I don't know if we have to do the Nugget Bridge shenanigans first or what. Uh, maybe it is scripted, you know, sp specifically so you're meant to do certain things in certain order. Uh, I don't know. I, I do like this game a lot because my team is getting leveled up uh, just without me using them. So if eventually I, I decide I want to use a Pidgeot, I've got a, I'm probably going to have a Pidgeotto like, ready to go. Um, I like that, you know? I mean, it is a bit hand and I understand the concerns, but I don't know. I don't mind it. Um, let's see. Is Misty here? Please tell me Misty. Oh, she is here. Okay. Yo, champ in the making. Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean, is a powerful trainer. You'll need Pokemon to be of level 15 if you want to challenge this gym. Uh, I have two of those, sir. Impressive. I see you have a Pokemon that is at least level 15. In that case, head on in. Good luck. I, I Okay, so at first, I was really skeptical and upset about the... I guess, what do you call, the um, the requirements to take on gyms, because I thought it was all going to... The way it appeared to me at first was you need to have a super effective type on your team. I think all you have to do is literally show him that you have it, or show that you know the type matchup, and then you can go in. Because one of the requirements to one of the gyms, apparently, is that you have to have caught at least 50 species of Pokemon. Uh, and I imagine that would be the 8th gym, or the 7th gym. Uh, beauty Lily. Okay, so it's not even a swimmer, it's just a beauty. Oh, yeah, beauty. Uh, but yeah, like, you know, I, I, I was I was skeptical and worried at first, but again, it panned out and it worked out fine. And, you know, I, what, what can I say? I, I'm, I'm, I think it's pretty cool. I like the idea of there being like a requirement to get, because, you know, not just anybody should be able to walk into a gym and challenge it. Because that's just mean. If Misty, if Misty, if like this five-year-old kid, or, well, I guess 10 is the age meant to be a Pokemon trainer, right? This kid that just starts out on their journey goes in, just walks in, Misty just molly wops them. You know, like, 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 you know, there should be restrictions. Surely, right? Realistically, there would be restrictions. Can we also talk about the glass behind them? Look at the glass behind Misty. It's got Squirtle, Dugong, uh, Goldeen, Starmie, Krabby. That looks amazing. I would love that as a wallpaper in my house. You can see it here as well. Shelter! Oh, Shelter looks awesome. Vega, Vega. Yeah, look at the background. Yo, that looks dope. Oh my god, I really want to remake that. They should sell, like, they should sell all this stuff as merch. It would make a killing. They already do. This is the highest grossing franchise for a reason. Man, I spend way too much money on Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Sandtree's now level 11. Cool. Well, I mean, I'm probably just going to be mainly using Pikachu for this gym, but, like, you know, who isn't going to just mainly use Pikachu for this gym besides people that lose their Pikachu and Nuzlocke. <laughs> hey, what's up? Did you see that dive? Don't you think I deserve a gold medal? Sure. Oh, you can actually still see their feet underneath the reflection, like under the water. Like the water isn't just solid. You can actually see the, her feet through the transparency and well, the rest of her body as well. That's pretty cool. You should have a look at it in a second after this battle. Like you can still see the rest of her body. That's crazy. It's, I don't know. I mean, it's not that crazy. I, I probably overreact a lot, but like it's, 
that's pretty dope. It's, a, it's attention to detail that not many people would think about, I guess. Um, cause I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know if that ever happened. I don't think that ever happened in like Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire when you're surfing and like there's a swimmer in the water. I don't, I don't know. I could be mistaken. Maybe it did, but I don't know. Um, I love using quick attack for some reason. So let's just hit him with one of those. You just delete us. All right, cool. That's seal gone and we're almost level 18. Mankey's level 12 now. Uh, your Pokemon deserve, totally deserve a gold medal. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, you can see her, like, very ever so slightly, but you can still see it. And this gym looks amazing. Okay. Hello, Misty. Hello, my friend. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is all out offense with water types. Misty's world famous beauty is your host. And my sweet Pokemon are ready. Are you? Man, the Misty Battle is so cool. Like, I love how the gym leaders look in this game. They look so dope. Challenged by gym leader Misty. So, yeah, I'm not really... I didn't go back and heal, because I didn't really expect to need to. So, I'm assuming she's got Psyduck and Starmie, which is a pretty nice switch. Oh, she's level 18. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, maybe I should have healed. It's a pretty nice switch up, though, uh, from the, gener the generic... Um, you know, star me or star you, star me. Like, you know, it's pretty boring. Uh, for some reason, my Pikachu's got some insane special defense stats. So we live in hits, apparently, from Psyducks that are one level higher than me. Like, that did zero. I don't know why my Pikachu's so fat. Uh, level 18, cool. And we should hopefully be able to take on this star me by ourselves. Light screen. Uh, yeah. Actually, maybe I should have learned that. Hmm. Pidgey wants to learn Wing Attack? In Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, Pidgey cannot learn Wing Attack until level 36 when it evolves into Pidgeot. This is insane. This game is insane. I know, like, times change and there's a lot more powerful moves now, so, you know, they have to rebalance it so other Pokemon get powerful moves fast. But man, level 19. Okay, that's not as low leveled as I figured it would be, I guess. I was expecting this gym to be much lower leveled. Uh, super effective. It's gonna use Scald? Of all moves, you have Scald. Okay, I actually took out my Pikachu. I'm sorry, Pikachu. Oh, it just runs back to me. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully she doesn't have any Psychic moves. Um, because Oddish is coming in now, so... Mama. Um, let's see. Poison Powder or Sleep Powder? I will go for the Sleep Powder. Hopefully it doesn't have any Psychic so Swift. Okay, that's fine. Oddish, please. Thank you. Sleep Powder. Land. I really hate Oddish's feet. Oddish's feet are so creepy. From the back, you just have, like, full view of its feet. It's just really, really weird. Uh, well, Absorb did get a buff, so my mind was still thinking about Absorb as a base 20 move. But Absorb is base 40, so we should do a decent chunk. Hey, there we go. All right, cool. We should have this battle in the bag, then. And we didn't have to just rely solely on Pikachu, which is cool. And the gym leader is higher level than me, to be fair. Oh, it woke up. Okay. The gym leader is higher level than me as well, which is, you know, that's pretty... That's, that's, that's new territory. Like, I never, I never expected we'd be lower level than the gym leader. We still won, though. We still won, though. Cool. Okay. Level 17. When does Oddish evolve again? Like, level 22 or something? I don't remember. I wonder what our first evolution will be. Anyways, party got experience, and we beat Gym Leader Misty. Wow, you're too much. Yeah, I definitely wasn't meant to take her on yet, but alright, you can have the Cascade Badge to show that you beat me. Dab. You did actually do something this time, Pikachu, but you died. Cascade Badge makes Pokemon from other trainers level 3, and we got Scald, as I figured we would. Uh, cool. That's awesome. Scald is a really good move. I'm sorry, Pikachu. I would hang out with you, but I really want to go heal. <laughs> I want to go heal you before. Because I, I, I really can't bring myself to see Pikachu's little face all sad. I mean, it might be happy. I don't know. I just, I don't want to see Pikachu all upset for being fainted. Like, I don't, I don't, I just, I can't, my heart can't take it, okay? I want to heal you ASAP. And then, then I can look at you, all right? <laughs> Uh, as an experiment, can I actually get rid of my Pikachu? Let's see. Uh... 
Hmm. Uh, let's see. Open Pokemon box. Remove from party. You can get rid of your Pikachu. I mean, I don't plan on it, but that's kind of funky. Look at Clefable's pixel spray, man. That thing's massive. I'm really glad they redid those. I'm still salty I missed out on that Chansey, by the way. That, that is... Oh boy, I'm so angry about that. Anyways. Uh, that's the Cascade badge gotten. Oh man, little Sand Shrew running after me. I'm never going to get tired of it. I'm just... I don't even want to evolve him into a Sand Slash. <laughs> uh, let's just run up here. And I guess we can take on Nugget Bridge now. Uh, let's see. I really want to... I know there's Vena now up here. So, who should I try out next? I guess we'll try a Pidgey. Why not? Should I get Pidgey to follow me? Yeah, Pidgey can follow me. Sure, why not? There he is. Hey, Pidgey. Alright, let's go. I won't mind a Pidgeotto, so let's go. Bug catcher. People call this Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Sure, man. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I can do it. No, dab, dab, dab. Bug catcher kale. Venonat, that's what I want. I really want to use a Venonat on my team, but I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted now because now that I have, um, now that I have Oddish, I've got a Poison type, and I don't like having multiple of the same type in my team. So I don't want to use a Venomoth and also a Vile Bloom on my team. I'm, I'm stuck, guys. I don't know what to do. I mean, for my first playthrough, it doesn't really matter that much, does it? If I want to have multiple poison types, then who's, who cares, right? <laughs> Whatever, hey. So these trainers seem like they're going to be really low-leveled, so we'll just quickly get through these. See if they've got any new Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Uh, Psyduck. Oh, wow, we just beat one of those up. You guys see Psyduck in the Detective Pikachu trailer? It looks amazing. I actually love how those Pokemon look. A lot of people don't really dig it much. I think it's amazing, personally. I just realized, yeah, we're gaining experience on my entire team. I wonder... There's no way to turn that off, is there? Your entire team just always gains experience with you. And I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know. I've never was a big fan of the experience all. And I thought it did make Pokemon a bit too easy. But then Pokemon's just as easy as you make it, I guess. If you want Pokemon to be hard there are bad pokemon for a reason like there are lower tier pokemon for a reason just don't evolve your pokemon uh, i don't know my, my 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 mind has changed a lot when it comes to pokemon becoming too easy i think if i were a new pokemon player for the first time i would have no clue what i was doing and you know it, it would be pretty hard you know so this would be a good introductory game for me uh, the only reason why pokemon's easy is because we've been playing it all of our lives so what can we, what do we really expect them to do? Do we, do we really expect them to make it unwelcoming for, for newcomers? Like completely unwelcoming? Cause like that Necrozma battle was probably the hardest they probably could. I mean, I guess, I don't know if you want to say it was hard or if you just want to say it was dumb. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think this is the right direction personally. Cause people that are complaining about Pokemon being too easy, it's just because of our own experiences. We know all the tight matchups. We know everything, basically, that there is to know. Maybe not everything there is to know. We know the most. We know the most of it, so. Pokemon is as hard as we choose to make it. If we want Pokemon to be hard, let's just play the game with one with one Pidgey. You know? Let's just play through the game with one Pidgey. And that way you have to buy a bunch of X items. You know? Or there's... I don't know. There's plenty of ways you can make it hard and... I, 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 I think, I mean, it wouldn't, I guess it wouldn't hurt for them to add, like, a difficulty option. But, besides that, I think they should make it as welcoming as possible for newcomers, because I want everybody to be playing Pokemon. I love Pokemon so much. Uh, sorry for the ramble there. I'm just trying to make these battles more interesting. <laughs> uh, not saying they're boring me or anything, it's just, you know. Uh, when it comes to my content, I feel like I need everything to be relevant. I don't want it to get too repetitive. Uh, and obviously just five battles in a row is pretty like, he's just doing the same thing over and over again. We've got a Growlithe here though. Look how amazing he looks! Nugget Bridge looks dope. Growlithe's lighting looks dope. Like, Growlithe's, Growlithe looks amazing in this game. Growlithe is usually a much lighter color. And Pidgey looks awesome too. They did such a good job with the shading. The shading is amazing. Like, that's the thing I, I think I appreciate the most is how much, like, how much better the shading is. Because like... Um, okay, here's the best way I can describe it. In, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, 
X and Y, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, all of the Pokemon models. Uh, if you use Instagram, there's like a there's an, a filter on Instagram that's kind of like puts like a, a gray coat on everything. If that makes sense, it's kind of like a grayscale type. Uh, it, it, all the models and everything just looks like it's got that painted on it because it's it's so gray and just ugh. But these games bring out the vibrance. And I don't even have to add anything in editing to make them be look better. With X and Y and Sun and Moon, I always had to. <laughs> Anyways, hey. Are you actually a Team Rocket Mandel uh, member? Or you beat the five trainers and a fabulous prize? From the mysterious trainer. Ooh. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? That's right. Um, we group decided to do our... Uh, doing evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make sure I'm not you an offer you can't refuse. Woo, lad. Rocket Grunt. Hey, baby. Zubat. Okay. I'm glad they kept that in. I was worried they would. <laughs> Imagine if they actually legitimately gave you an option. I was I was kind of hoping I would have a text box come up saying yes or no. <laughs> but unfortunately, they didn't go that far. I mean, I mean, obviously they wouldn't. Obviously they wouldn't, because if you said yes and then nothing happened, then people would be like, "Well, why'd you give me the option?" You know, it's, it's teasing, man. Just teasing. Will you switch Pokemon? Nope. Coughing. Oh man, I, I love coughing's pores. If that if that's what you if that's the correct word for them. I feel like my, my Pidgey doesn't gain that much experience for beating other Pokemon. I feel like I I feel like I gain more experience for catching Pokemon. I don't know why. <laughs> my Pidgey's just I battled this is like the fifth trainer, sixth trainer I battled, and I've I've not I've only gained one level, which I don't know, it might seem a bit greedy of me, but I feel like I feel like I should have gained more. I don't know why. I guess the experience gains aren't insane in this game, because I imagine like the champion's only like level 50. Which is kinda kinda weird to think. With your skills, you can become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of an opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance by this slip you by. Hey man, I'm good. But I saw a guy up here with a with a Charmander. Char! Hello. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry my Charmander because it's not getting stronger, so I want to give it to a trainer. Oh <gasps> I've caught 50 Pokemon, you should catch more than that. If I catch 50 Pokemon, he'll give me his Charmander. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't does he mean 50 species of Pokemon or just 50 Pokemon? I've never actually opened the Pokedex yet. Uh, Pokemon obtained 17, Pokemon seen 37. Um So I've I've, seen, I've caught 17 Pokemon. The total number of Pokemon caught 38. So it might be total number of Pokemon caught. We'll try that. I think we'll catch 12 Pokemon and we'll see if we can get the Charmander. Although, do I even want to use a Charmander? Because like if I'm gonna use the my if I'm gonna use the team in my Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee team, if I'm gonna use that in another playthrough, then I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just we'll see. Hey, battle me. I saw you feet from the grass. Uh, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. Dab, 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 camper, Shane. Hello, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeet. <laughs> Go on, Pidgey, you can do it. I don't know what to call my Pidgey. I need to come up with names for my Pokemon if I'm going to keep them on my team. Thing is, I don't even know if I want to keep Pidgey on my team. Like, Pidgeot? How boring and generic of a, of a Pokemon is that? Although, not going to lie, I do like Pidgeot a lot. And I just remembered, I don't actually need flying types. Hmm. I don't know. I think I just want Pidgeotto, just to have Pidgeotto. Uh, there's Wild Oddish here. I really want Venonat. I think I think Venonat is found here. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong though. But I feel I think Venonat is is found here. Oh god, Pidgey. What do you want, Pidgey? I'll leave me alone, Pidgey. I don't want to fight you. I'm just gonna run around. Oh, there he is. Hey, Venonat. Look at him and his little feet. I love Venonat. He's so polite. Yo, look at them eyes, though. All right. Uh, so I guess we're going to hit him with a get ready and yeet. Hey, excellent throw. Nice. That was pretty good, if I do say so myself. Epic win. We got ourselves a Venonat. 
I might use it. I might not. I'm not sure yet. Uh, experience points, 97. Bonus multiplier, 3.7. New Pokemon, excellent throw. First throw technique bonus. Man, the multipliers are so cool. Mankey's leveled up. I don't even want Mankey in my team. I don't know why it's still with me. Um, oh yeah, we should probably teach a karate job though. It has taunt? The heck? Okay, that's really... I, don't, I didn't expect it to have taunt. Like, I only ever see Taunt as a competitive move. What the hell? That's so strange. Venonat. Today will be a little Okay. Um, we'll probably add Venonat to our team. I quite like Venonat. It's quite cool. Oops, I accidentally ran into Pidgey again. I'm getting mixed up with my Pidgey and the wild Pidgeys. I'm gonna run. Sorry, fella. I might go back to that guy later on. Uh, for the Charmander. I'm not sure. Uh, I know that the Pokemon multiplier, you kind of just need to keep running into the same Pokemon over and over again. And I think it's more like, I, I've got a feeling, it's not it's not definitive proof. I've got a hunch that once you've encountered the Pokemon once, there's a likely, more, yeah, exactly. There's more of a chance that more will show up like this. I've, it's a hunch. It's not definitive proof or anything. It's just a hunch because how are you meant to get a streak of it if it doesn't start showing up more, you know? Like, I, that just makes sense to me. Great. Okay, well, I'm getting good at this. Hell yeah. Um, I, you just have to straighten out your arm when you press A and then throw it in the direction you want to throw it. It's a pretty good workout, man. Pretty good workout. Oddish is now level 18. Gosh darn, Oddish. Oddish is moving up in the world. What's your stats looking like? Special attack. Hmm. Razor Leaf's a physical move. Yeah, well, we're not going to learn Razor Leaf because Oddish is a special attacker. And uh, Razor Leaf isn't very, isn't very good to work. Catch combo two. Keep it up. All right, man. Let's keep this up. If I, if I can find more, man, I would love to shiny hunt Venonat. <laughs> shiny Venonat's amazing. Oh wow, there's a Psyduck here. Okay, cool. I'll probably just break my catch combo of Venonat just to get the Psyduck. You know, I'm not actually trying to like shiny hunt or anything. I just kept seeing Venonats as I was about to leave, and I'm just like, ooh, I could maybe get a shiny if I do it one more time. So that's what that's what I was doing. But let's get Psyduck, why not? I don't know you could actually find Psyduck here. That's pretty dope. Oh, he broke out. Psyduck, please. It's a great ball. You like great balls. Because they're blue and you're a water type, and that's how that works. Please, come on, man. I mean at least you don't jump side to side like Venonat. Excellent throw, baby. Let's go. What the hell? Yo, what is this thing's problem? Actually, what is your problem? If I'm having this much issue with Psyduck, I don't ever want to see, like, how much issue I'm going to have with other Pokemon. I mean, I had a lot of issues with Kakuna, to be fair, though. Another excellent throw. Please be kind to me, Psyduck. Come on, man. You can do it. Stay in the ball. Thank you. So, we're going to go check out uh, Bill, I guess, This for the, for, the, for the remainder of this. I mean, I... Hmm. That's a huge Pidgey, man. Another side up. Oh, it's a small side up too. Expedef. Wow, that was completely worthless. Uh oh, Venonat too. Hey Venonat. Hey little buddy. I really want to catch some good Venonats and like decide which one's my favorite and then go with that. Uh alright. Hey. Battle me. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I still got a gas and still got gas in the tank. Hey man. I don't want to hear about that stuff. Please <laughs> please don't mention gas in the tank. It's, it's not very hiker Franklin. Onyx. Oh, yikes. Okay. Our first time seeing an Onyx since, uh, you know when. Yeah, Pidgey isn't very good against this. This is a really funny matchup. Uh, Pidgey. You might want to return there, buddy. Um, this is where Oddish comes in handy. I don't have anything for Onyx besides Oddish, really, so let's just go with that. The reason I didn't teach it Razor Leaf over, uh, Absorb either is because, you know, most things that are weak to grass are got terrible special defense like onyx so it's probably smarter for me to just have absorb if absorb was a, was a base 20 move it would be a different story but absorbs the base 40 move now so i think razor leaf's just pointless like, look at that razor leaf would not have one shot that onyx i can guarantee goodbye son pidgey level 17 trying to learn roost what the i mean i really need that I'd probably just use potions over roost actually. I've got like this weird thing where I don't really use Moves like that in playthroughs. It's just weird to me to use like recovery moves in playthroughs 
when there's just potions right there. I mean, I guess the recovery move is free, but it's just, it's taking up a move slot, you know? Uh, fair enough, fair enough if your Pokemon has a free move slot, but yeah. Uh, let's switch Pidgey out, and I guess, let's... I'm gonna open my Pokemon box, actually. Let's go have a look. I want Venonat. Let's check the Venonats that we, um, we caught. We have Naughty, Sassy, Mild, and Quirky. Um, let's just get the level 11 one, you know, saves us some time. Uh, add it to my party. And we will replace Mankey, because who actually wants a Mankey? <laughs> um, I guess in the meantime, we could probably actually transfer some Pokemon. Um, we'll transfer you, you, you. Multiple Zubats. I got multiple Sanctuaries as well, I guess. So I can transfer him. Cool. Let's do that. I'm gonna need, like, one of every Pokemon for, like, the Master Trainer, though. But I guess if Pokemon are quite easy to catch, I'll probably just go back and catch them anyway. Ah, uh, whatever. Cool. Done. Uh, let's continue. I don't want Pidgey following me anymore. I don't want Pidgey following me anymore. Um, let's get Venonat to follow me. Come, come, Venonat. Follow. Follow me, my son. Okay, hello. I had a feeling. I knew I had to battle you. Why? What would ever give you that feeling? <laughs> Youngster Chad. Oh, he's a Chad. Diglett? Chad, put away your Diglett, man. No need. No need to bring out your Diglett, man. Come on. Okay. Uh, Diglett's pretty frail, so hopefully we can just take it out with this. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. Sorry, Youngster Chad. <laughs> I like how Diglett spins and you can see the textures of it spin too. It's crazy. I knew I'd lose too. And why did you battle me? Oh, it's got a Weedle on his shirt. I thought it was a bag, but it's a Weedle. Okay, I just... Okay. Where's the love for Caterpie, man? Where, where's the kids wearing Caterpie shirts? Local trainers come here to practice. Well, that's cool. I wish I were a local trainer. Birdkeeper Joey! Hey! Oh, Birdkeeper outfit's so cool. Pidgeotto. Ooh. We're gonna get one of those soon. I really don't like how Pidgeotto flies in this game, but we're gonna get one of those bad boys soon. I wonder if Thundershock will do a lot. Man, I wish I had the static ability. Nah, I didn't one shot. Okay, even though Pikachu does have an insane increase in special attack and stuff, it doesn't quite, you know. It's not, it's not quite doing... I mean, I guess it doesn't have that insane. I think it, the main the main insane increase is its speed. Pikachu's got some insane speed buffs in this game. Uh, well, not every Pikachu, just your partner Pikachu. Rata is level 15. Uh, I don't actually know what level Rattata evolves, but it's learning Super Fang, which is... That's a pretty decent move, I guess. If I'm, like, up against something really big. I can make Rattata really fast and just use Super Fang, you know? So many cool combinations can come from this, um... Quick Candy situation that we've got. Alright. Oh my god, Venonat jumps! It's like a little rabbit! Oh, look at him. Aw. This kid's in my way. I really wanted to go get the Pokeball, but I, I literally can't because the kid's in my way. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's just go through here. Hey. Oh, I guess he didn't want to battle. Did none of these guys want to battle? I'm a picnicker. My boyfriend is a camper. I, I like when NPCs become self-aware. They're like, yes, my trainer class is that I'm a picnicker. <laughs> it's just so, so stupid. <laughs> okay, Goldeen. Vega, Vega, no! Hit him with the, hit him with the Thundershock, Pikachu. Yeet. I've never, I've not gotten that Pika Pow thing back yet. I wonder how I got it in the first place. Do I maybe have to feed my Pikachu candies? I'm not actually sure. I haven't gotten it back yet though, which is really concerning. Uh... And the camper boyfriend just wants to leave me alone. Cool. What's this here? Ether. I wonder when we actually get access to using cut. I imagine it'll be like the SSN stuff. Hey. My friend is so many cute Pokemon, I'm so jealous. I, I imagine she's gonna send out something ugly then. Or something she would consider ugly. Oddish. Oddish is cute. Can't believe they actually just roasted my man Oddish. I just realized, this is the fifth episode, and we've still not got a Pokemon evolution. I mean, I guess that's my own fault for using Pokemon that evolve pretty late. But, still. 
weird. I wonder if can you can I use a can I try and attempt to use a thunderstone on my Pikachu and it'll just refuse or like what happens with that? I'm really curious. Quick attack, easy done. And then what do we have next? Pidgey. Huh. I guess she didn't really think Pidgey and Oddish were cute, man. I think they're cute. I like Pidgey and Oddish. Is Bellsprout a version exclusive for Eevee then? And and it's and that's the thing you encounter instead of Oddish. I don't actually know. I guess we'll just see. I guess we'll just wait and see. Regardless, I'm glad. I'm really grateful I've got viewers that can help me complete my Pokedex. If it comes to it. I'm not jealous at all. Very jealous of this cute ass Pikachu of mine. Imagine getting a Pidgey as your star Pokemon. Imagine. That would be so funny. Is this a fisherman? Oh, you're going to see Bill first. We battle. Is this what the fisherman class looks like? Please tell me this is a fisherman. Oh my god, it is! Yo, Fisherman Wayne! The fisherman class looks amazing. He looks so good! I actually love the fisherman, and Magikarp looks awesome too. Alright. The fisherman class is actually hilarious. I, it, it looks so good. I've always been a big fan of the fisherman class. I mean, I kind of miss, you know... I mean, like, like how sprites work, you know? Like, the fisherman would be, sit, be sitting down and fishing in his sprite, whereas here he's standing up with his fishing rod, you know? I, I guess they had a bit more personality when they were sitting down, because here he's kind of just standing there angrily holding his fishing rod. <laughs> I don't know, it still, he still looks really good design-wise. I never actually thought of what the- I've never actually seen a Fisherman before in this game, so... You're something. Pardon me, you got three Pokeballs. Epic Nene. Alright, cool, let's go- Oh, it's one of those trainers. I'll talk to you later. Let's go check out Bill, because I was told not to. Dab. No, 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 must be pretty easy to make a Pokemon talk when all the Pokemon are just one, like, you just use the same generic model for everything. Oh, what the? Wait. Oh my god, he's a Nidorino! Oh my god. <laughs> Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, no, I mean, I'm Bill. Call me Bill. I'm a terrible, I'm, a, I'm the true blue Pokemon fanatic. Hey. What's with the skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out of here. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter. Can we just talk about how stupid that is? Like, how... How insanely far in technology do we have to be? Pikachu wants to see me. How... Are you skeptical about this, Pikachu? Okay. Do you wish you could talk? I bet you do. Jealous rat. Okay, let's screenshot. Okay, full and jump in the teleporter. Whoa, I should get in there. Don't mess, mess this up, okay? I mean, you, 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 <laughs> you messed it up yourself. <laughs> Imagine asking a random stranger to help you. Is this a cutscene? Yo, what the hell? This is so cool. Why is... I was gonna say, why is such calming music playing? Okay, that's just a normal Nidorino now. And then Blue comes out. Oh my, why is this cutscene? Not Blue, sorry, Bill. Yeehaw! Thanks, buddy, I owe you one. Hey, um, you've got a Pokemon box right there in your bag. Good job. If you ever catch too many Pokemon and your Pokemon box is full, send some of those Pokemon to the Professor Oak. I bet he'd be mighty thankful. Oh, look at me. I'd forget my own head if it weren't attached. I should probably do something to thank you, too. You did save me after all. Here, maybe this'll do. Dab. The cruise ship in the SSN pulls uh, into ports in Vermilion City. They invited me to some uh, party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? There are a couple of tickets in there, so have fun with a friend or something. Oh man, that's so cute. Okay, uh... Okay, so that's... Wait, what's this? Oh, wait. Oh, it's about Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Oh, right. Usually it's about the evolutions. That's about Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres this time around. That's so cool. Pikachu... What's wrong? What's wrong? Completely surprised that Bill emerged from the smoke. <laughs> why, why did that surprise you? Did you not understand what he was saying? 
Pikachu's so silly. Anyways, uh, that was an extra long episode. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the extra long episodes. I don't really like a cutting episode short just to just for the sake of cutting them short. I have an objective in mind of what I want to cover in this episode and I will do that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wh why are you so close? I didn't even mean to shake my controller. Why are you so close to me? <laughs> why are you so close to me? Um, yeah, I didn't even mean... Oh, he wants the high five. Yo. He wants the high five. Oh my God, this is so cute. What cheeky little rat. You're so cute, man. I love these games so far. Uh, hopefully you guys appreciate the longer episodes. Um, I figured, like I said, I've got goals in mind at the end of every video I want to do. And even if it takes me longer than 40 minutes to do it, I will do it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. As always, like the video. Episode 6 will be out soon enough. Just be patient and stay tuned with the channel. Uh, subscribe if you're new, of course. And like the video if you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one.